Hey guys, this is Emery with Grappito. Um, today I'm going to talk about how the Grappito light works and just a brief overview. Um, before you watch this video, I recommend you watch the other video I, we put up on our YouTube channel for the 4 inch handle going over the sand application um, because I think it's going to be very uh, important to understand the basics with that um, before we get into this. Um, so for the Grappito light, um, we wanted to make a starter model um, for our uh, Grappito light. Um, it basically um, does a portion of the exercises of um, the main model that we have. Um, but there are good things about it that are done a little bit better due to the size of it. So first of all, it's a three inch ball handle. Um, we have a three inch regular Grappito as well, but we had it a little bit smaller. Well, uh, this is a one inch pipe. Uh, the other one we had was a two and a quarter inch. So since we have a smaller uh, inch pipe, we're able to get a better grip on it and it fits in the hand really nice. So you can do everything that we showed uh, earlier. You can put your weight on and you can do sand wrenching. And um, the ulnar radial uh, deviation here, uh, you can do it with your elbow coming around if you want to do it like that. Or you can just keep your elbow in the same spot and just work back and forth. Um, one thing you can do a little bit nicer with this one compared to the 4 inch handle is you can grip it um, and you can just work wrist uh, flexion extension. So I like to just keep my wrist at a spot and just work in one direction. And of course you want to do that after you find the um, resistance you want to work with sand wrenching get there and you feel like that's a good spot then you just work here and you just uh, you can work in one direction or you can just go back and forth um, another thing you can do with this is you can have your elbow circle around um, so to get the uh, shoulder internal external rotation so I grip it here and I come here like that and you can go the other way around like that so you can pretty much work in several ways and I like to tackle it in all uh, angles. Um, uh, we went over the main three uh, variations, which is uh, wrenching with your arm in line with the uh, shaft and then your arm parallel here, working here and then here at 45 degrees. But with this one, I just really just like to tackle it in several different ways, hitting my hands. Uh, forearm and sh uh, sh shoulder internal external rotators. This one is pretty nice and uh, if your athletes are not used to it, um, when you're coaching them and have them do it like three to five minutes, uh, their arms can get pretty, pretty tired. It's pretty challenging, especially when you go deep. Uh, you get to a point that you can't, when you get to a point that it's very different, uh, very difficult to uh, turn it. Uh, it can be super, super challenging and I really like it. Um, and a lot of my athletes get a lot of really good uh, strength gains with this and it just has a really nice feel to it. One thing you can do is you can put a rubber band on a center piece. That way you can track progress or you can just measure it. Um, that way you can adjust your uh, intensity. Um, with this one, additional to being nicely being able to do the wrist extension and flexion, one thing you can also do is grip it with your hand like this. So you can do this in the uh, wrenching uh, position here. So I just pretty much grip it like this, or this, uh, or this, and you can just work in this fashion. It's pretty nice, and you notice how it works your thumb, and it works your hand in a little bit different uh, way. Um, and it, it's pretty challenging. Another thing you can do is you can do three finger grips. So with my top thumb, I'll partner two here, here, and that also works with these grips as well. If you want, you can put like something small, maybe like a tennis ball or something smaller on top of it and grip that and just have your tip of, tips of your finger uh, gripping the ball and work in uh, each direction. Um, when you're working with your fingertips, uh, especially rock climbers do this a lot, uh, it's pretty phenomenal, especially if you're a climber, this is, uh, very important um, and one thing to note that is when you're working with your fingertips you're hitting 
uh, muscles in your forearm that you actually don't get to train uh, if you're working this fashion and when you work this way uh, you're a lot more likely to train those muscles and when you start for a lot of grip athletes when they start doing a lot of fingertips uh, holds uh, and uh, pull-ups and things like that you will notice a, a soreness and uh, you'll notice it even though if you've been doing a lot of grip work um, with thick bars and things like that um, so those are the main ways to tr train. Another thing I like to do is gripping like a kind of like a wine glass and have my fingers um, here and my thumb up, my palm facing the ceiling. I'm here and I work like this or, or here. And um, this is really nice um, and very challenging, especially for the thumb and the hand and you're hitting a lot of these uh, muscles that you don't really get to work and it just helps you tackle your arm, your forearm, your wrist, uh, make sure your arms that are strong in any aspect. Uh, that's what I really like about this and that's what I like about the Grupido and that's why I designed it. Grupido, our arms are super important for delivering strength and doing uh, a lot of athletic uh, things uh, uh, in performance and this ma makes sure that your arms are just not strong, but also have a really good uh, endurance and they can last. That's uh, as important. That's super important. A lot of people don't realize. And also uh, making sure you're training your wrist, your forearm, your shoulder, your entire arm as a whole. So there's no weak links. Um, this pretty much covers the main uh, exercises for the Rapido. Um, a couple other things you can do with this Grupido Lite is you can hook it to uh, a rowing uh, machine, a cable machine, or a kettlebell. You can do swings with it. Same thing with swings. You can grip it like this. You can grip it like this. Um, when you do swings, you can attach it to a kettlebell. Uh, depending on your height, uh, you might need to stand on two plyo boxes uh, so that you have a little bit more height so you can swing uh, between your legs. Um, when it's coming down, just to hold on to it is very challenging. Um, even a light kettlebell, you will notice it. Um, it's 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 pretty uh, it's pretty challenging. Uh, you can do carries. You can hook it up to uh, cable machines. You can hold it like this and do rows, kind of like this, like uh, cupping like motion, and you will activate your back really nicely. I really like this gripping like that uh, and doing that. Uh, about a year ago, we, we made a post with uh, the four inch handle for uh, golfers going circular this way. Uh, that's that same thing uh, in uh, flexors, extensor, extensors. Doing that is really, really nice. Um, when you do the cable machines, make sure to uh, change your grip here to here. Uh, that's something really nice. You can do pull-ups, um, you can hook up to pull-ups, and you can actually kind of have it like this and pull up like that, or pull up like this uh, with between these fingers here, kind of like that. Um, or you can grip it like this, this, or this. You can also do, you can combine it with a, like a climbing, um, I think they call it rock rings, uh, climbers use, or a towel. Or just a regular ring and if you're good strong enough you can do a single arm pull-up <laughs> um, you can grip two hands and do a pull-up like that you can do isometric holds bring in your arms like this uh, you can rotate with which fingers uh, are touching the ball and which one are on top and change um, uh, this is pretty nice I really like this one and it has a really cool feel to it and it's only two pounds. The regular Grupido is five. The only thing you can't do is the barbell roll-ups, which are probably one of our most famous uh, exercises. But you can do a lot, and in some ways, it just fits in your hand a lot better and has a really good feel to it. I like to combine it with the four inch, even for the sand training. Um, is once you try them both, you'll get a better feel of it. But uh, if I had to choose for the sand, I'll probably choose this one um, over the other models. But since you can grip around it and 
The smaller shaft does allow uh, better um, gripping and better options. Uh, that pretty much covers most of our exercises. One thing that you can do is um, attach a chain and do uh, farmer's carries like walks. And you can do it like this, walking like, like this. Or you can go get on a trampoline and bounce. And this is going to want to fall down, and you're going to have to squeeze super hard so it doesn't. So uh, you're pretty much squeezing really hard, making sure to stay uh, parallel to the ground. You can do carries, trampoline, bounces. Um, you can hook up a band so it's more bouncy, and um, and you can like uh, amplify that eccentric uh, overload. And your arms going to, your hands going to have to squeeze super hard. Uh, when, when the weight's bouncing and it's, it's really cool. It's really nice. One of my other favorite exercises for shoulder stability, shoulder health, is gripping it like this. Uh, so you can see it here pretty much it's like that. And I'm just holding the ball. My hand's not touching this. And here, and I hook a chain to the end. Uh, the new Grappitos have a hole at the end. This one here this is a test model that we had, uh, but it's here uh, or, or on the um, pipe. Uh, but basically use a carabiner, hook up a chain, and you pretty much hold it here. And you go overhead and you do it keeping your ribs low and keeping your arm straight up high. Um, you do walks and the chain uh, will move. And this is very, unstable and you'll have to stabilize it and you'll have to squeeze the hand. A lot of athletes like to do hammer supination and pronation exercises. This uh, does the same thing. Um, but right now what you're doing is you're just resisting, keeping the parallel to the ground and squeezing hard so it does not, your wrist does not go this way. Um, your hands Unlike a sledgehammer, we'll have to work really, really hard. You'll have to grip it. And it's a really nice exercise, but for overall shoulder stability, I find it to be a really, really great exercise. Uh, for uh, shoulder rehab, I use it a lot. And I think for athletes that have to, like for um, strikers that are punching, I really like it. It works the wrist, hand, uh, shoulder, um, even the core a little bit. Um, really nice, and it's you constantly have to just balance and it's um, one of my favorite exercises is it's really really cool that covers pretty much most of our exercises with this one I'm sure there's more things that we're gonna post like uh, coming up in the future that I can't think of right now but stay tuned for more videos and um, if you have any questions shoot us an email I really appreciate you guys taking your time to watch our video thank you have a good day